All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 7, Episode 1. Wow, we've made it to Season 7, and as far as, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm looking at it right now, and there's only seven episodes in this season, and then there's only six in the next, in Season 8. Why, why is that? I have no idea why. Please let me know. I would love to know why. In the last episode, a lot happened. A lot, a lot happened in the last episode. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm gonna make this super quick, but apparently I missed that John's a Targaryen. Apparently he's a Targaryen now. No, he's always been. It's because I'm a dumbass and I missed the entire Rhaegar and Lena storyline that was introduced in season one. And like every time it popped up again, I kind of just was like, oh, I don't know what this is, <laughs> you know? So yeah, I'm a dumbass. We all know that. So nothing new with there. But Bran's going to go and find Jon and be like, yo, bro, you're a Targaryen. That's lit. Um, I wonder what Jon's going to do with this information. And then speaking of Targaryens, Daenerys, 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 Daenerys. She finally got her ships. Finally got the ships. The, shout out to the Ironborn. They came through, okay. And she finally set sailed for Westeros. Okay, she got the Dothraki. She got her ships. This bitch is on her way, okay. I'm sure she'll, you know, she'll land on Westeros. She'll probably fuck around for a bit, whatever. But I hope the first place they attack is King's Landing. Because think about her like this. Varys went off. Bro, he got the Tyrells and and Dorne to come through and help us. When it showed that shot of them sailing, I saw the Tyrell flags. And the Dornish, they don't really they don't really fuck with the Lannisters. So yeah, that's even better. So bet. And now Cersei is queen. It like and honestly, it didn't even seem like a, she gave a fuck that Tommen killed himself. She was like, okay, well, cool, I'm queen now, so. It seemed like she didn't really care like okay she probably did care like oh that sucks my son's dead but i'm queen now so okay but you know and i'm that was part of the prophecy that we heard about back in like season five i want to say it was like when cersei was a little girl and she talked to that witch she was like oh you'll be replaced you'll be queen but you'll be replaced or whatever all your kids will die and so it came true but to be honest tommen was all tommen's death was all cersei's fault so it's like she made the prophecy come th come true but okay anyway and that that brings a really interesting point up too because jamie oh boy jamie 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 see here's the thing jamie's not gonna like what cersei did how she blew up the septum and everything in the red keep she is not gonna he is not gonna like that at all i hope he presses her about it but and he sees that she's queen so he's gonna i hope he calls her out on it honestly because like jamie is trying to become a better person and he's became a lot better person jamie's character arc has been so good honestly like i didn't really like i honestly forgot how much of a dickhead he was until the other day because i was hanging out with my friend we rewatched a bit a couple episodes from season one because they've never seen it and so i was like oh okay let's watch a couple episodes and i was like damn fuck jamie but it made me appreciate him more now so and so honestly i hope he kind of realizes no like you kind of did exactly what the mad king wanted to do and like why i killed him like because correct me if i'm wrong but that's what the king that's what the mad king wanted to do he wanted to throw the wildfire all over the city killing everyone and then jamie killed him before he could do it that's not the reason why jamie killed him but it's part of it so correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure that's pretty sure pretty sure like he ultimately killed the mad king because he was like kill your dad you're loyal to me so go kill your dad and jamie's like no that was like the main reason why but like it was also because of the wildfire correct me if i'm wrong though but i'm pretty sure but anyway so i hope he presses cersei about it and honestly i hope he ends up killing her i feel like that'd be a very good death for her but also they did say she has literally no allies and so i don't see her rule lasting that long to be honest i hope daenerys just comes in here and cleans house I hope she just come here to wipe them out. Like, I hope they don't stand a chance. Okay, but anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well early access. So the next two episodes of Game of Thrones will also be available on Patreon. So let's get started. So I did miss the cold open, not in this episode, not in this episode, but with the Hound being reintroduced. So I do apologize for that, but you guys made sure to let me know that in season seven, episode one, do not miss this cold open. So, okay, bet. A 
thought he fucking died. What is this? I've gathered every Frey who means the damn thing. Is this Arya as Walter Frey? Has to be. A toast. No more of that gold. Oh, all the wine is poison. And it's Arya as Walter Frey right now. As Walter Frey. And she's going to kill all of them. Stand together. Die together. I don't know. Yep, yep, yep. Not drinking it, yep. I'm not wasting good wine on a damn woman. Save your life right there. Maybe I'm not the most... Yeah, he didn't drink any. Family, the men who helped me slaughter the Starks at the Red Wedding. Yeah, that's why I always killed all of them. Cut the throat of a mother of five. <sighs> I don't really appreciate that. Your guests after inviting them into your home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I... Slaughter every one of the Stark. Nope. No, no. That was your mistake. Yep. And stem. Oh, bitches. Gotcha. Leave one wolf alive and the sheep are never safe. <laughs> Fuck all of you. Yep. <laughs> Good shit, Aria. When people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembered. <laughs> Winter came for House Frey. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Dude, I'm convinced Arya's killing everyone now. Like, everyone on her list, she's getting them. Like, she's gonna kill the Hound. All again. She's gonna kill Cersei, probably. She's getting everyone, dude. Fuck yeah, Arya, dude. Love to see it. Love to see it. The fuck is this? It's the Night King? Yep. His army. Hey, wait, actually, actually, I said this in ha the uh, Hard Home episode, season five, episode eight. We need Daenerys to take them out, okay? We need her, and guess what? She's here. Well, she will be here. So, I don't know if she'll go that far up north, but they'll probably meet her in the middle somewhere, so, bet. Her and John are going to work together just to defeat them. They have to. They literally have to. God damn, the giants of White Walker. I mean, a white. Ah, oh, they have three. <laughs> Wait, it looked like a white. The giant looked like a white walker because of blue eyes. Okay. Well, Bran just woke up from real. Oh, they're at the wall. Okay, they were looking for John, but gonna tell him what he saw. But that motherfucker's not here. I, yeah, I feel like, okay. If John and um, Daenerys meet, they're gonna be cool. They're gonna be like, bro, we know what's good. This is Brandon Stark, son of Ned Stark. How do I know that's true? You were at the Fist of the First Men. You were at Hardhome. Mm-hmm. You've seen the Army of the Dead. You've seen the Night King. He's coming mm -hmm. for us. Hey, come on. Let's get them inside. Yep, that's all Ed needs to know. Damn, Ed's, lo Ed's looking good, dude. He's looking good. I thought that guy in the back was uh, Tormund, too, for a second with the orange beard, but ah. They scour their records for any mention of dragon glass. Hmm. <laughs> we need to find it, we need to mine it, we need to make weapons from it. It's about time we taught these boys of summer how to fight. <laughs> Not just the boys. Everyone. You expect me to put a spear in my granddaughter's hand? In this case, yes. Knitting by the fire while men fight for me. Am I <laughs> but I am every bit as much a northerner as you. Indeed you are, my lady. No one and is I don't need your permission to defend the north. <laughs> Sir Devers. Begin training every man, woman, boy and girl on Bear Island. Okay, yes. I love her. <laughs> you want us to man the castles for you? Closest castle to Hardhome is Eastwatch by the Sea. Looks like we're the Night's Watch now. 
That's so funny. <laughs> car hold to new families, loyal families who supported us against Ramsey. Darks for centuries. They've kept faith for generation after generation. Yeah, and yeah, until they betrayed Rob. Kind of. Rob cut that dude's head off, so they did. Harold Carstark died on the field of battle. They died fighting for Ramsey. Mm-hmm. Battles to the families of the men who died fighting for you. Oh, uh, the Carstark's joining Ramsey? Fuck, I didn't even know that. <laughs> Actually, no, I remember that. I remember that. Never mind, I did know that. My father always said, the man who passes the sentence should swing the sword, and I have tried to live by those words. He said that in episode one. When killing the deserter. But I will not punish a son for his father's sins. That is my decision, and my decision is fine. Ned Umma, Alice Karstark. <laughs> uh, this is awkward. <laughs> I can't do anything with them though. For centuries, our families fought side by side on the battlefield. Do you swear loyalty to me now? Pledge your loyalty once again to House Stark. Serve as our bannerman and come to our aid whenever called. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yesterday's wars don't matter anymore. The North needs to band together. You are my sister, but I am king now. You start wearing a crown. When you question my decisions in front of the other lords and ladies, you undermine me. So we can't question your decisions anymore. Of course. In privacy. Don't let anyone question his authority. You think he was a good king? True. Well, Joffrey's decisions weren't good in the first place. You think I'm Joffrey? Fuck no, you're not Joffrey. Not even close. You're good at this, you know. At what? Oh, he's great. He should be on the Iron Throne. Nah. Well, he's a Targaryen. <laughs> but. Father used to say, everything before the word but is horse shit. Bro, I, he said that in episode one too. John wouldn't even want the throne. He'll probably help Daenerys get it, to be honest. <laughs> if they if they ever meet, she'll be like, I'm trying to get the throne. And he'll be like, all right, bet. I'll help you get the throne if you help me take on the Night King in the North. You need to be smarter than Rob. Yeah, true and they both lost their heads for it. And how should that be smarter? Uh, don't break a pact to marry someone else. Cersei of House Lannister, first of her name, Queen Bit of the Andals. What do you want, bitch? I'll fucking kill you. What do you want? Surrender to me. Come to King's Landing. Oh, fuck no. the knee or suffer the fate of all traitors. Bet. Bet. Enemy to the north, you've forgotten about the one to the south. You're sure. consumed with the Night King because I've seen him. Cersei. There's a thousand miles between us and Cersei. Yeah. Winter is here. The land Bro, that wall's not gonna hold forever. If you're her enemy, she'll never stop until she's destroyed you. Everyone who's ever crossed her, she's found a way to murder. Not this time. You almost sound as if you admire her. I learned a great deal from her. I mean, I kind of respect it, not gonna lie. <laughs> Doesn't mean I like her, but I respect it. Oh, that's a nice map. Jamie, press her shit right now, Jamie. Memorize every damn city, town, lake, forest, and mountain. It's ours now, we just have to take it. Good luck. I have no idea about the news. There is Targaryen that's chosen Tyrion to be her hand. Oh, they do know about her. Okay. Are they sailing across the narrow oh. sea? Hoping oh. to take back her father's throne. Oh, oh, they're well aware. Okay. The one who murdered our father and our firstborn son. Get over it. That's beside our enemies and gives them counsel. Yeah, he chose the winning side. If Daenerys pulls up here, she is wiping you out. Where will they land? Dragonstones, where she was born. Enemies to the east. Ned Stark's bastard has been named king in the north, and that murdering whore Sansa stands beside him. We can't win a war if we can't feed our men and our horses. The Tyrells... Mm -hmm. The Tyrells have the livestock. The Dothraki horde, an unsullied slave soldiers. If they think Daenerys will win... Yes. We look like the losing side. Yes, you are. I'm the so queen of the Seven Kingdoms. It's three You're going to lose. The best. <laughs> A dynasty for whom? Our children are dead. Yes. You're probably too old to have new kids now. You're infertile now. Dude, a dynasty for you? What do you mean? You're gonna die in like 10 years from just being old. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. Our baby boy killed himself. He betrayed me. He betrayed us both. Uh, Should we say I loved them? I did. Their ashes now, we're still flesh and blood. 
That's cold. Lannisters, the last ones you count. That's cold. Even Lannisters can't survive without allies. Where are our allies now? You saw what happened to Walter Frey and his family. I heard. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, they know. Now they're all dead. Whoever killed them is no friend of ours. We need allies. <laughs> no. Nope. Better allies. We can't win this war alone. Yeah, you're fucked. You're lo you're going to lose. Father for forty years and learned nothing. Yes. You've learned a bit, but not enough. Bro, I don't even think Tywin could probably win in this situation. I mean, well, no, he would make- he wouldn't have fucked over everyone in the first place, okay? He wouldn't be in this situation in the first place. That's the difference. Okay. The great joys to King's Landing. Not all of them. Oh, sure. Well, it looks like all of them. I invited your own great joys. Uh, okay. That ma- uh, okay. That makes sense. Yourself, we needed stronger, better allies. Okay, yeah... Damn, they built ships already? How long has it been since they told them to build the ships? I assume that would take, like, a couple years, but I guess not. I mean, yeah, okay, that makes sense, because, like, yeah, I saw the Ironborn flag, and I was like, why are they at the Red Keep? Did they, did they just, did Daenerys just pull up to the to King's Landing immediately? I thought she was going to Dragonstone, but no, nah, it's year on Greyjoy. That makes sense, I guess. Well, you're still gonna lose, I don't care. The moment I was chosen Lord of the Iron... Oh, you're gonna try and marry her now? Fuck, no, you're not. Weren't you the one who started that rebellion by sailing to Casterly Rock and burning the Lannister fleet? <laughs> that's a bit... That's a bit awkward. Oh, your specs it. We all made it to the Iron Islands anyway. I was there. <laughs> and I enjoyed killing Greyjoys. A good thing for me. Crushed us, I wouldn't have gone into exile. And if I hadn't done that... It all worked out. ...and be the greatest captain of the 14 seas. You're not. You, you never were. It's the greatest Amada Westeros has ever seen. I mean, look, he's given a really decent pitch here, but Cersei's gonna agree no matter what, because she literally needs him. Like, she's just gonna let him sell himself as much as he wants, but... Ever since I was a little boy. Because she needs him. She's gonna say yes no matter what. Up and married the most beautiful woman in the world. Mm, you're not marrying her. Accept that. Accept that. And two good hands. <laughs> Fuck you. Jamie will kill you, bro. <laughs> I decline your proposal. Yeah, I see. Why? I... You're not trustworthy. Hmm. I won't return to King's Landing until I have that for you. What? What is it? <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Sam looks miserable. <sighs> Bro, this is a really shitty job. No pun intended. But he's doing this become a maester, so hopefully it's worth it one day. Go in there. Go in there. Drinker's liver if ever I saw one. Damn. I've seen them. The army of the dead. Mm -hmm. They all doubt the walkers ever existed in the first place. Everyone in the Citadel doubts everything. It's their job. Damn. <laughs> With the White Walkers is that you're telling the truth. And that mm -hmm. you saw what you say you saw. Damn. So, he believes him. And thousands of years before that, during the long night, we can forgive them for thinking it truly was the end, but it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Life goes on. It always goes on. The wall has stood through it all. Not this time, though. And every winter that ever came has ended. Not this time. This time's different, bro. Be a good lad. Clean this up. If this time wasn't different and we were just going to be fine, they wouldn't have made a show about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I mean, yeah, he just has the confidence that like the wall will hold. Like he believes Sam that the White Walkers are here and everything. But he's like, doesn't even matter that they are. The wall will hold through. The wall will hold. But I guarantee you it will not this time because I feel like this time they are the most powerful they've ever been. Probably have the fattest army they've ever had. Oh, Sam's doing it anyway. He has to know how to defeat them. Yeah, there has to be like some like video game cheat code secret to them, like how to actually kill them and make them stay dead. Watch them. Watch it be like a hive mind thing to where if you kill all four White Walkers, the Whites just die. They just they just turn off. That would be nice, but probably not. 
Ooh, pod's looking sharp. No. Jesus, bro. Horny. She wasn't. She wasn't looking, pod. Why'd you do that? You're a lucky man. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Down bad. Nah, Brian's pretty cute. I've heard she beat the hound in single combat. Mm hmm. Very impressive woman. What do you want, Lord Baelish? To manipulate you and John. <laughs> I'm at home surrounded by friends. I have Brienne to protect me from anyone who would harm me. Mm hmm. Sansa's chilling, bro. Life is good. Why aren't you happy? What do you want? I'm happier. At the moment, peace and quiet. Why is he still here? You he need his men. Yeah. Without the veil, Ramsay Bolton would still hold this castle. Littlefinger saved us. Sadly, yeah. He wants something. Of course. He rode through the streets of the city. Is that Bron? Is that Bron singing? There's no way. Okay, it's definitely not Bron. <laughs> I wish it was, though. It's these stupid ass Lannisters. Damn, our hill looks so good. For hands of gold are always cold, but a looks familiar. I've never heard it before. It's a new one. Yeah, that guy look, looks familiar. I don't want to steal your food. You're not stealing, we're offering. Come on, All it's right. gonna be a cold night. We're pretty chill. Unless they're just gonna kill her, try to. I don't know if he's a recognizable character or he's just a recognizable actor. Arya? I feel like this is a mistake by Arya. You heading south? King's Landing. Mmm, -hmm, I wonder why. There's been some trouble with the phrase up at the twins, so we're part of the army that's been sent to keep the peace. Yep. She's like, oh, that sucks. Oh no, I couldn't. You don't have enough. But my mother always told me to be kind to strangers. Strangers to be kind to you. Mmm. She probably told you to rob him and he'll lick every chance you get. Just think about my dad out there on his boat all alone. I ought to be out there with him. My wife's Damn, that sucks, but at least you have a dad. It's a girl. Why? Girls take care of their papas when their papas grow old. True. Boys just go off to fight in someone else's wars. Mm hmm You probably die. Are you old enough to drink? How how old do you have to be in this in the show in this time to drink? Like fucking fifteen? So why is a nice girl on our own? Dude, bro, this is actually a pretty wholesome moment. Pretty wholesome scene. Very unfamiliar in Game of Thrones. I'm going to kill the queen. Oh, fuck. She- oh. They're not gonna take her seriously. They're gonna be like, alright. Like, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see? No, bet she probably will, dude. She probably will. Yeah, they don't take her seriously at all. But then they're gonna hear about it in a couple months and be like, oh, fuck, the queen died? And they'll remember that exact moment. That was a really nice moment. I really enjoyed that. You're a grouchy old bear, aren't you, Clegane? You want some rum? Yes. It's too sweet. No. He wants ale. He was in such a foul mood. Because he's sober. Experience. <laughs> this seems like a good place to spend the night. Sure, let's just kill whoever's in here. Seems deserted to me. Oh, wait, no, they want to kill him. Never mind. Wait, is this the house? Back in, like, season four? That him and Arya went to and killed the people in? I think it is. It looked a lot like it. I think it is. And the, watch, they're like skele their skeletons are gonna be in here. I don't like the look of it. Yeah, see, that's why he doesn't want to be here. Man, you scare easy. I'll tell you what doesn't scare me. Bald cocksuckers like you. <laughs> you think you're fooling anyone with that top knot? Bald. <laughs> Bro, that's a diss at the man bun. <laughs> Bro, this season, this had to have come. Yeah, he's he's already been here. That's all he knows that. Um, this episode had to have come out when the man button was trending. That's why they put this in here. Yep, there they are. That's so sad. Does yeah? He, does he know he killed them? Could he? T can he tell? How do you think it ended for them? Oh, I know exactly how it ended. Let his little girl suffer. He ended it for both of them. Damn. Doesn't matter now. No. Doesn't matter now. Wait, did he not kill them? Did he not kill them? 
I swear he did. All right, whatever. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> I thought you were dull as dirt. You're not bad. I don't hate you. Don't like you, but you're not bad. That's what you guys say about me. I don't want to look in the damn flames. Tell me bring him back from the dead after you cut him down. The Lord Light will tell us. And no one wants to tell me. We can't tell you. Only the fire can tell you. Jesus Christ, yep. It's fucking cryptic shit. What do you see? I see burning wood. Logs burning. Yeah. Oh, he sees something. Ice. Hmm. A wall of ice. Yep, the wall. It's where the wall meets the sea. Hmm. The dead are marching past. Yep, sees all the white walkers and the whites. No, I get sure got serious. Thousands of them. Yeah. Do you believe me now, Clegane? <laughs> yes. Do you believe we're here for a reason? Yes. Damn. Pretty sure that's just like what he sees in the future, not actually in real time. What the fuck are you doing? What the hell are you doing, Clegane? Digging a grave? Oh, for the family, that's what he's doing. Burying the dead. Yep. He's a changed man! I love to see it. You knew these people. Mm hmm we ask the Father to judge us with mercy. Mm. Yeah. Fucking, I don't remember. <laughs> it was a good effort. You deserve better. Mm -hmm. Both of you. Damn, he really is a changed man. You should really sleep, Sam. The dead don't. <laughs> He's trying to find these answers. Damn, he Legends. brought the... Of the... Damn, so you brought the book home. That's kind of risky. The Targaryens used dragonglass to decorate the weapons without even knowing what the first men used it for. Hmm. Cool. Convenient. <gasps> Wait, that's the dagger that uh, Viserys had. I think. I think that was. In House of the Dragon. It's a map of Dragonstone. Oh shit. The Targaryens built their first stronghold there when they invaded Westeros. That's Dragonglass. A mountain. Oh shit. Beneath the ground. Stannis told me, but I didn't. Bet. This is important. John needs. Mm hmm. I remember when Stannis was kind of talking about that. All right, well, we found it. We found the source. <laughs> mm, I fucking knew that was going to happen, dude. I fucking knew it. Has she come yet? <gasps> it's Jorah! Mm. The Dragon Queen. No. Daenerys Stormborn. No. Dude, I was wondering when we were going to hear about him. Oh my god, that's so bad. Dude, there should be a fucking label on his door. Like, do not touch him, bro. Damn. I guess he never found the cure, so he's going to die. <gasps> we made it. We're at Dragonstone. The bridge. Wait, is that the bridge I'm thinking of? No, it's not. No, it's not. Never mind. Dude, oh, wait. Are they going to have that really cool lava map from House of the Dragon? I hope that's in here, please. Please. Oh, that's what Damon used in Rhaenyra. Okay, this is a little bit of a bit of a different room. It's been a long time, so mm, everything got a little bit refurbished. Wait, no, I remember this room. Never mind. Shall we begin? Yes. Damn! All right. All right, that's really cool to see her at uh, Dragonstone now. Because that's where, he, obviously, Rhaenyra and Daemon and all of them were in House of the Dragon. Damn. I'm really happy I watched House of the Dragon in the middle of Game of Thrones. Because now I'm like... I feel like it helped me a lot for Game of Thrones. 
feel like it did. Maybe it helped me get more familiar of like how far everything is, get a better idea of like how far away everything is from each other. All right, so that was Game of Thrones season seven, episode one. That was really cool how we got to see Dragonstone in this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we've ever been to Dragonstone in Game of Thrones. We might have like really early on in the show, like season one or two, and I just don't remember it. It has to be that, but I'm a lot more familiar with Dragonstone and like that area of the world because of House of the Dragon. So that helps a ton. Um, it was really cool to see Dragonstone and see inside. It looked a little bit different than what it did in House of the Dragon, but I mean like new sets and everything. That's like the real life explanation and like within the show, I'm sure it's been remodeled a bit or whatever. So that's cool. But yeah, some stuff looked pretty much the same, the same, but different, if that makes sense. Finally made it. Holy shit. Okay. We have a lot to talk about. Okay. Also, I forgot to mention this in the intro, but this is also when I heard that the show kind of starts to take a decline and it like i've literally heard people say this is where it gets really bad and it's like i don't think it can get that bad i don't think it could get that bad. compared to the like best seasons of the show sure maybe it's it's bad but like nah dude, i nah there's no way like as a first time watching i'm sure i'm gonna enjoy it just as much like to me it's probably not gonna be so bad to where like it stands out unless it really is you know, but like, who am I to criticize the show if it is that bad? I literally didn't know what the fuck was happening in season one. So, okay, but we'll, we'll just see. We'll just see for ourselves. Maybe like once I've seen it through all the way and then I can kind of like, you know, watch all the little YouTube videos kind of explaining stuff. And then I really have the full context. I could then be like, okay, I see why these two, these last two seasons could be bad compared to the rest and you know maybe my opinion will change over time so who knows we'll see but anyways <sighs> this was a very good episode in my opinion though this was a very strong season opener it set up a lot it set up the rest of the season it did a very good job of setting everything up i could definitely tell there's a little bit of a different tone with the cinematography compared to the last compared to the prior seasons I feel like this show just like did certain shots it hasn't done before the way the camera was cutting between uh dialogue was definitely a little bit different but it's it's not bad in my opinion like i i still enjoyed it it still kept me engaged well Arya took out the entire house fray she did it she's the goat she fucking did it ah it's so cool to see she's doing it bro she might kill cersei she might i think it's either gonna be Arya or or jamie to kill cersei no what if what if Arya's about to kill cersei and then jamie has the opportunity to stop her but cersei's such a bad queen he's like nah I'm gonna let this happen. That would give me that would give us the best of both worlds, I feel like, you know? That would give us a storyline I'm hoping for that like Jamie betrays her still. But he doesn't kill her, he just lets Arya do it. So he still betrays her. You know? I feel like that'd be really good. I feel like. Or maybe Cersei just dies in like the dumbest way possible. What if she just gets eaten by, what if she just gets eaten by a dragon? That'd be hilarious. Bran made it to the wall. Cool. Got to see Ed. That was nice seeing Ed again. He looks really good. I hope he doesn't die. I hope he's just one of the care. I hope he's like one character that just never dies. That would be so late. Unless he dies in a really cool way. That's like, you know what? I respect that. Then I'm cool with it. But if not, I hope he just lives forever. So John made another pack with uh, the umpire and the car starks again. So that's cool. He reunited that. Yeah, they kind of, they did fuck us over. They joined Ramsey, but John gave them another chance. Well, they died fighting for Ramsey anyway. So like John gave their kids a chance and their kids were like, yeah, we're not fucking this up. I mean like, bro, if you're the, if you're the kids, like you kind of have to, you know, if you say no right now, they'll probably just kill you on sight or you're losing that battle. Regardless, it doesn't even matter. You have to say yes now. So it's like, okay. And then we kind of got to see like Cersei's plan kind of, you know, she has literally no allies, except Euron Greyjoy, but she denied his offer, which, okay, I thought was interesting because I thought she would be like really desperate to have at least one ally, you know, especially one with a Navy, a, a Navy fleet. That would be pretty sick. That would be very helpful, but no, she denied him, but he's like, I'm going to give you a gift. I don't know. I feel like she's playing this game to where she's going to make him like work for it really hard but she's going to say yes. Like she knows in her head, she's going to say yes. Cause she definitely needs him. But she's like playing this game to where she's just going to make him work as much as possible and give her as much as possible, which might fuck her over. He might honestly just be like, you know what? Fuck this. But then again, he does want to kill Theon and Yara. So like, 
for him too, he kind of has to. And like, yeah, obviously Cersei probably doesn't want to just be like, yes, we'll, we'll be allies immediately because, you know, that makes her look desperate and she doesn't want to come off as desperate for him, for his help. So, okay. Interesting. I mean, I get why she denied his marriage proposal. Like, that's, I get that 100%. But okay, we'll just see. We'll see. And then Sam, he found the dragon glass. It's at Dragonstone. Wow, who would have thought? Dragon glass is at Dragonstone. Wow. Um, so yeah, he's gonna send a raven out to John because John was at, John told everyone at that meeting he was like, look, we need the mind to put all the kids to work, put everyone to work. We need to find as much dragon glass as possible. And Sam's about to send this raven out and be like, John, I found a mine of it. John, I found a mountain of it. So Sam came through again. Shout out Sam. And then we just got a cool little little thing with the hound where he looked into the fire and he saw everything, you know. Probably saw a little bit of the future, right? I, I'm assuming that was the future, definitely not present time. And he saw the dead, so all right, he's in. All right, cool, cool. And then Daenerys pulled up the Dragonstone, and I already kind of talked about that. So that was Game of Thrones season seven, episode one. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.